Norovirus usually resolves on its own within about one to two days, but about one in four patients who get norovirus go on to develop a new irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. So norovirus has swept through so many countries in the past year. In fact, I saw a really interesting statistic. In Australia, gastro cases are at a 20 year high. Very few people are talking about the longer term implications on gut health. And this is one of the, the few people I've seen talking about it, but I wanna take it one step further. How can you restore your gut health after post-infectious IBS, which has become increasingly common since COVID, really? As a gut health dietitian, here's what you need to do. The first thing, you need to stay calm because your nervous system directly impacts symptom severity. So you need to manage stress and anxiety. Secondly, as the diet changes, a lot of people can develop a fear around food and associating certain food with certain incidences. We don't want that to progress or develop further. So we want to start with measured gradual reintroductions. Gradual intentional increases in fiber and looking at the types of fiber there, increasing your water intake and even smaller, more frequent meals. What about a low FODMAP diet? Well, it depends on the severity of your issue and for how long, but you could certainly look at removing a FODMAPs, which are known to exacerbate issues. If you've tried these things, you've spoken to a doctor and it hasn't helped, you should seek out a gut health dietitian. You know, post-infectious IBS, this is what we specialize in. There's other steps you can take. There's certain tests you can do to make sure that it doesn't develop into long-term IBS.